Hey guys, welcome to the Testing Academy. My name is Pramod and welcome to the tutorial of what is a defect and bug life cycle, right, in software testing. And we are going to see an example in Jira and we are basically seeing the bug life cycle, especially in Jira, tracking mechanism, right? All right, so let's get started. So guys, uh, before uh, going to this, uh, let's understand what is a typical bug life cycle means. So basically, uh, a bug life, bug life cycle consists of set of states uh, that a particular bug goes, right? So uh, what is a bug? Bug is basically kind of a flaw, or you can say divergent from a actual results to an expected results, right? Of a program, right? For example, if you have made a particular image uploading software and your particular image is not working, which was expected, then it's a bug right or a defect or a flaw but most uh, used term is a bug in whenever we are dealing with software developing life cycle right or software development uh, in it so bug can be uh, generated anywhere in the software de uh, development life cycle right and it can be due to missing some misunderstanding or developing whenever we are developing that software we have uh, make human make mistakes right so that can uh, be due to that one so a typical bug life cycle looks like this and I know it's a very huge one, but it's very simple to understand right? it has very few uh, cases. So uh, before that, uh, so what will happen? Uh, so uh, first of all, whenever add any kind of uh, uh, tester has identified any kind of a bug, then uh, it's going to be uh, logged into the system like Jira and we are going to use the status as new, right? Now what will happen? Uh, is that after new it will basically going to assign to a software developer who is basically uh, uh, change the status to assign now in assigned state he is basically going, can do three things right the first thing is that it's a valid bug then valid bug is definitely going to be to the state of verify uh, to fix right now if it is an invalid bug it is going to be invalid state if it is uh, in the invalid state we have uh, rejected for example it's a uh, invalid bug then which is definitely going to reject it because uh, developer was not able to reproduce that bug right and uh, one thing more uh, another thing that can happen is that it's a duplicate bug so then it, then also we are going to mark this with a status of duplicate another thing that we can do is that it can be a deferred in a deferred state where it is not a high priority in this current sprint then it can go to a deferred state right so suppose it's a valid bug now it will go to a right it will go to a res uh, basically resolved state or you can say any kind of a verified state right uh, in this example like right, it's going to be in the fixed state now it is going to be retested by the same tester if it is still in a bug it is going to be reopened and again go to th through the assigned and fixed state right and if it is retested and well uh, verified then it will go to verified state and it will go to production and basically tester is going to close that state right so this is typical uh, uh, Jira bug life cycle look like and let's understand step by step what is new. New is again I have told you that a tester identified a flaw or a bug then it is going to log into Jira. Again it is going to be assigned state where developer will basically change the status according to the valid and invalid status of this bug. If it is a valid bug it is going to be in open state right and uh, if it is a uh, uh, valid work op after open it will go to a fixed state where it will it will be fixed on a certain environment and the tester now going to retest that with the retest status if it is still a bug then it will going to reopen if it is fixed it will going to a verified state now after verification if it is everything works fine then it will going to be a closed state then and will be we are going to going to live or going to be on the production one right so let's see you know jira and uh, so, right, uh, so let me exit it and so this is, uh, this is a Jira environment right now and I have a project of the testing academy and I have opened it a bug, right, so either by uploading an image on the server, this. So typical bug looks like we have description, actual result expected and step to reproduce and some certain attachments, right, and we have uh, here the status, right, right, and uh, typical status looks like this so this is the workflow basically the same one that I have explained you and you can create the workflows uh, if you haven't created I means if you want to create it you can ask your Jira administrator to create these kind of workflows which uh, contain the uh, bug life cycle most of the time Jira have a default uh, bug life cycle which is very simple one like open 
in open state in progress and turn most of the time but yeah you can create your custom workflows and definitely leverage this this is these this kind of uh, this is bug life cycle is typically uh, you can say standard one or uh, most of the companies are using it so this is uh, it will be very helpful if you use these kind of life, life cycle right all right so uh, i hope you have get certain information in this video and uh, do let me know and uh, we'll see you in the next video do don't forget to uh, subscribe and like this uh, video and uh, don't uh, if you want to share it with your friends just share it and let me in the comments what you think about different kind of uh, uh, workflows or any kind of issue with jira okay so see you in the next video bye